My name's Warren Blanchard, nicknamed Doc, and that's, uh, if anybody needs to know, that's because of my last name, which was the same as the famous football player from, from West Point back in the mid-40s. Um, I uh, entered the Air Force in 68 and went through pilot training at Laughlin, and from there I got an assignment to the A-1 Sky Raider, went through training there and found myself in Vietnam as a, as a brown bar second lieutenant. Uh, that was uh, probably four months before I automatically uh, increased my rank to first lieutenant. And uh, so anyway, I, I was sent to play coup as my first assignment up in the up in the central highlands of Vietnam in the sixth SOS, Special Operations Squadron. And uh, flew there for about four months uh, developed my pinpoint bombing technique there, and uh, then the uh, powers that be decided to shut the whole squadron down, take the, all the A1s out of there, and move to Nakhon Phanom, Thailand. And it wasn't a, more than a couple of months when I got from when I got there that they decided that they weren't able to cover the mission down where Pleiku had supported, down in what we call the tri-border area. Uh, so they asked for volunteers to go back to play coup, TDY. And I think there may have been three or four people who decided no, but the rest of the people had, who had been there said, yes, I want to go back to play coup. Because it was a great place, really. Um, but that didn't last for long because they, they finally realized that uh, they were paying us TDY, and after two months they were running out of money. TDY money, so we've got to stop this. So they decided to set up a so-called detachment. They call it an operating location uh, for for certain reasons. Uh, mainly, we were we had a permanent change of station, PCS. They, they, we couldn't be TDY because then they would have to pay us per diem. So they got it. They they looped around that, and we all moved up. We all who manned the uh, operating location Alpha Alpha, as it, as it was called, moved to Da Nang. So and that's where Ola was born? That's right. Okay. That's Ola. And uh, it had a very specific role compared to the other um, squadrons because when you said uh, the, it was the mission? Or yes. Or they couldn't cover the mission? Well, it, yeah, the, covering the mission meant two different things. Uh, it was too long of a flight from the Phanam to get down to where, down in the tri-border area that was had been previously covered by, by, uh, by the Play Coup Sixth Special Operations Squadron. But when we got up to Da Nang, the reason it was formed up there was really by directive of the of the uh, air staff from the Pentagon, uh, because there the the army was operating, uh, doing a special operation called Studies and Observations Group, SOG. And that was these teams that were formed, formed of uh, two Americans and the rest, maybe six or eight uh, indigenous troops, mountain yards or South Vietnamese uh, special forces. And they would be dropped into the jungle over in Laos primarily and sneak around in the jungle and uh, gather information on the movements of the of the NVA. And if they could, they, they would sabotage something if they could. If not, they just brought back information to learn what the movement was mainly on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And they needed care, air cover, close air support when they these teams were inserted and when they were when they were pulled out. Or in the case of an emergency, when they were discovered, they had to get out immediately, and we we scrambled on those, and that was called prairie fire. And 
they, they, they said, you will have these eight airplanes at Da Nang on call at all times to cover those SOG missions. And that's basically why we existed over there. And you were, uh, as a unit, Ola was there for just over a year, weren't they, maybe two? I think, uh, verging on two. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't very long because the, the SOG activity ceased not long after I left. I, I left in, you know, I, I guess I forgot to tell you, I got there in 68 in, in August, and I was there until, uh, or I'm sorry, 69 August, and then I left, went back to the States in July of 70. And it wasn't long after that that the SOG operation was disbanded, and, and they just stopped doing it. It, it was a heavy toll on manpower for the, the Army, uh, because I, I've heard that they had 100% uh, casualty. You either got killed or you came back wounded, and um, their mission was extremely hazardous. But I know from talking to the Green Berets, when they knew they had a Sky Raider around, man, they were, they were pretty bold. They knew if the VC were coming, they were going to make them pay dearly. Take one. Fast movers in the night need search and rescue at first light. Hey, beeper, come on, boys. Now get your young ass on that horse. We took big errors on this star. This could be my silver star. We bring Charlie Grease by all means. Stands with a low. Take it off and I start to think, why don't they move it? Why don't they move it?